In this video, we are going to cover how to stop Fortnite from crashing in brand new Fortnite season OG video any PC or laptop. And guys, this video guide will help you to fixing around 10 to 15 errors or crashes. So make sure to follow my this whole guide. And if this is your first time here, so please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the way for SAP, it's always important to remove all the previous crash data from your PC because that is your existing file. So guys, for that, press Windows R together from your keyboard and type your percentage local app data percentage this will take you into this app data directory so go for the local and there you will find our fortnite game folder go for it go for save and there you will find out these crashes folder go for this folder and if any kind of file is available here in this folder make sure to delete that file from here now go back and now go for the demos folder also delete all the files i have already deleted all that existing data from my uh, fortnite directory because that is causing the crashes so guys I'll go for this log section select all this file and click on the delete button and delete all this kind of data from your pc for the fortnite so now the next up guys we are going to repair our fortnite easy anti cheat and battle eye files because that is also causing the crashes and error in our fortnite so guys open up your file explorer and go for your local dc or the drive where you install your windows and fortnite so guys go for your local dc go for program files and there you will find out your epic games folder open up epic games go for fortnite folder Fortnite game binary win 64 and there you will find out your battle eye folder and easy anti cheat folder so guys go for the battle eye and there you will find out uninstall dot battle eye now right click here and make sure to run this as administrator to properly uninstalling the battle eye because this will uh, remove all the files and after that again renew or reinstall the new files of the battle eye and it will fix you this problem now go back and go for the easy anti cheat and a lot of people are uh, complaining they not find the easy anti cheat uh exe file so guys simply skip this folder that is the easy anti cheat and go for folder which is easy anti cheat camo so open up this folder and there you will find out easy anti cheat setup.exe file now right click here run this as administrator and hit yes now here you will find out your repair service click on this repair service button this will first uninstall the easy anti cheat and then reinstall the new file of the EV anti cheat of your PC and for your Fortnite. So, guys, once you're done, now go back and go for the exe file of your Fortnite. That is, here we got Fortnite Client Win64.shipping exe file. Now, right click here, go for the properties of this file. Now, go for compatibility, and there you will find out uh, the settings. So, go for disable full screen optimization and check mark on this box. Now, go for change high DPI settings and check mark onto the override high DPI scaling behavior, then hit OK. After the guys here is the compatibility mode and also Fortnite suggests you to check mark on this box and set this windows mode onto the windows 8 if you are having any crashes and error in Fortnite. After that hit apply and click ok and close out your this Fortnite settings. Now in the next step guys we are going to use the DirectX 11 installation and Visual C++. So guys for downloading this file open up the link from description and that will take you into my uh, discord server simply join it. Now you need to go for this download tab and there you will find out Fortnite season OG all crashes fix. Here you will find out these two link for the visual c++ redistribution pack simply guys you need to uh, copy all the paths from here click on this download button and download this both txt file on your pc after downloading here you will find out directx.txt files open up this txt file copy this link from here open up your browser now you need to paste here your this link and press enter that will take you onto this website click on the download button and download this file on your pc now go for the next txt file and again copy the link from here and open up your browser paste it here and press enter and also download this file from here using this download button and here is the password of that file so guys once you download these files on your pc here you will go to this kind of the two folders open up your directx setup now scroll all the way down there you will find out this directx setup.exe file so double tap here hit yes i agree all the agreements click next next and this will take your time for installation of the, your directx alignment if any of the files missing that will recover that and that will fix the crashing and error in the fortnite So guys, once the installation is complete for your DirectX 11, now click on this finish button and close out this folder. Now you need to go for the next folder that is Visual C one time. So open up this folder and inside here you will find out 
all the version of the Visual C runtime you need to install on your PC. And before installation of this file, guys, make sure to go into your uh, app section of your Windows, open up app and features, and there you will find out if these visual runtime uh, packs are installed on your pc or not because sometimes your windows update automatically download these redistribution packs on your pc so therefore before installation of these files make sure to check on your app section of your windows if you not have this so simply go for uh, this install or that bad file and that will install all these files one by one on your pc so i already have these files installed so therefore i'm not applying these settings again but if you not have so simply double tap or right click and run this as administrator and automatically this will install all these files one by one on your pc so guys now in the next step we are going to configure the best settings for our epic games launcher that is also the reason behind the crashing of your fortnite so open up your epic games launcher now the very first step go for the logo or the login icon of your epic games and open up the settings of the epic games now you need to follow here the preference settings simply uncheck these boxes after that go for total download uncheck it use proxy uncheck this box now go for desktop notification make sure to also uncheck this box and this will also help you to improving your pc performance after that guys scroll down go for this fortnite click on this drop down and make sure guys don't use any additional command line agreement because this is also one of the reasons behind the crashing of your uh, Fortnite. So make sure to uncheck this box if you are having crashes. But uh, some people are using this command for improving your PC performance. So I suggest you if you are having uh, crashes on your PC while you're playing Fortnite. So uncheck this box from here. And guys, now go back. Now you need to go for your library and go for your Fortnite and click on the three doors. Now you need to go for this manage option and here you will find out verify files. Click on the verify button and that will take a few time for verifying all the available files of the Fortnite. If any of the files have any problem, that will automatically recover that file for you and that will also fix the crashing problem. So guys, once you're done, now close out this folder. Now again, click on the three doors and this time go for this options. Now here you will find our Fortnite Core and Battle Royale. So check mark here, basically this is the main file of the Fortnite. Then here is the Fortnite Save the World. If you are not have Save the World, and you not play safety world on your pc so guys make sure to uncheck this box and this will save around 4 gb of your data now here is the high resolution texture if you are playing fortnite on to the epic settings so then you need to check mark on this box otherwise simply uncheck this box and this will save around 11.35 gigabyte of the storage now here's the director square shader and again if you are playing fortnite with director 12 so then you need this option turn on otherwise simply uh, turn off the settings from here now here is the disable cosmetic streaming and i also suggest you to guys simply check mark on this box because this will uh, stop the processing of your screen because while you're playing fortnite and if any skin or any opponent appear in front of you so that will first render uh, that skin and that will cause the pink spikes and pack loss while you're playing fortnite so therefore make sure to check mark and download all the cosmetic before playing the fortnite so guys then here's the additional languages it is your personal preference if you want to add any additional language so simply guys hit apply and save the settings on your pc for the fortnite now close out your this file now guys in the next step and the final step we are going to do some optimization for the power plan of the fortnite because if your pc is not compatible or not enough powerful for playing the fortnite so that will cause the crashing so guys for that you need to go for your windows search search for power and sleep settings and open up additional power settings now here you will find out your power plan of your windows so here i have the version high performance then high performance power plan then ultimate performance power plan and some additional power plan but i suggest you to go with some highest performance power plan because this will provide you optimized cp performance and you can also use the power control application on your pc for creating this power plan on your pc now go for change power plan settings now go for advanced power settings and there you will find that hard disk turn off hard disk after set it onto the zero seconds after that now you scroll down go for processor power management and now from this drop down go for maximum processor state and set it onto the 100% now go for minimum processor state and set it onto the 100% after that hit apply and click ok and save this power plan on your pc for the gaming so guys that's for this video i hope so you love it please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel and till the next video peace out